Please make a second for to have the places. Glory be to God. You're welcome to church. Tell somebody say, beloved, you're welcome to church. Good. You know, life is what God values so much. He gave you an eye life. Because he is the source and the fountain of life. And he has reason why he created you and me. For us to represent him. To do some works here on earth. A lot of works. That's why he made you and I. So life is what God never joke with. When you want to talk about life, you talk about the human, emotional. You talk about the feeling. You talk about the health. God give us privilege, wonderful privilege, and God is always interested in things of man. Today in society, community, in the whole world, people are fighting shadows. Which was not the plans of God from the beginning of the creature before he made everything to come to take place. It was not his mind. It was not his intention. The mind of God for you, for me, to live in war, in peace. Somebody say peace. God made man and gave a lot of warning he, he gave a, a lot of, you know, uh, commandment from the Garden of Eden. When God created the first man, he spent a lot of years and he made the uh, second person, woman, to be of half to the man. And God let them know from the day you left everything I've given to you here in the garden of Eden. Eat this particular fruit. Then you will start seeing conflicts. Within yourselves. There are some things you do. There are some things you will speak. There are some art you will act. There are some things you will touch. Peace, we ran away. I'm talking to you from here in West Africa, precisely Nigeria. The Lord giving me a lot of vision. That more conflict, more disaster is coming in Lagos State. In Abuja. Because we lack something. And something we lack is something that is about to torment us. Why did God create men of God, the servants? God first created the servants, the pastors, the bishop, the imam, the rabbi, the nabi, the bishop. Evangelists, name them. He first created them and they stay here on the world representing God, speaking in the mind of God so many years before the places of worship was made. Like the mouse, the temple, but Knesset, and the churches, the synagogue. What does this represent? 
in the midst of people. Folks, the clergy, I mean the ministers, the messengers of God. The ones you know and the ones you do not know. The ones has come and gone that the ones are still existing here on the land of life, living. Why are they in our midst? Then what is their work? What is their vision? What did they say? What are they saying? Their works and the work of the church ladies, the temple of the Lord, the Knesset, the synagogue, the monks, what does this represent? It simply represents God in our midst. What does the messengers of God represent? They represent God in our midst. What is their work? They are want to speak peace into somebody's life. Their work is to speak love into somebody's life, unity into somebody's life. That is all this represents in every way. Okay. I'm taking you to Holy Book. In the book of First Corinthians, this is Apostle Paul. The messenger of God. First Corinthians chapter 3 from verse 16. I think I'm going to stop verse 18. Knowing ye not that ye are the temple of God. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defy the temple of God. Him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy. Which is ye? Which temple ye are? Verse 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemed to be wise in this world, let him become fool, become a fool, that he may be wise. Then I repeat the same chapter and verse. Knowing that you are the temple. Okay? Knowing that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Thank you. What does that mean? Knowing that you are the temple of God. God molded a man with the sound of the air. And he breathed the no into the nose ring, the spirit. He imparted the spirit into you. You become a soul. You became a soul. So we are all debtors. We are all debtors. Meaning, out of sand we came. He donated something in you. And that which he donated in you, we hold you responsible. We hold you responsible in every bad act you acted. Are you catching? He will hold the community, society. Somebody began this. Destruction of houses, destruction of people's business in many markets here in Africa, in Nigeria. I'm talking to you. Somebody started it. God donated the spirit of truth, the spirit of peace, the spirit of love. But out of selfishness, greediness, jealousness has made you to ask that. Now where we read, he said that you will be destroyed. If, verse 17, if any man defy the temple of God, him shall be, he shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy. What is the meaning of holiness? Pure. Love. Obedience. Respect. Humble. Sympathize with those that are in problem. This is 
wo ga ni from you and I. From the religion where you are hearing me from, you and I know that this is a holy season. All over the religious people dwells. If you're a Muslim, you know this is a holy season. If you're a Judaism, you know that this is a holy season. If you're a Christian, you know that this is a holy season. And what made this holy season? Season that God made covenant of religion. The same time he called Jesus. And Jesus came out and was crucified to create Christianity. The same time God called Moses. And Moses came up and faced the Pharaoh and was caught on the mountain of Sinai with the people of Israel. And he created the religion called the Judaism. The same time God called Ishmael through his mother Haggai. I said, through your son, I will create a great nation. Ishmael will have 12 sons and they will be 12 princes. It's a holy season celebrating all over the place and the world. So what does that signify in your life? It's not about trouble. So talking about division, if you say you are a man of God, or a servant of God, a messenger of God, you are teaching or you are preaching against another, against another church, or another set of religious people, you are not called by God. Because God is one. God is one. There's no different God here in throne of Elia and another God existing in a place of garden of worship. No, no, no. Our God is one. It's the only people that worship pagan, the paganism, the pagan people that believe they have gods. But we have one God. The Islamic have one God. The Judaism have one God. The Christian have one God. And that the same God lives in heaven, created heaven and air, created you and I. He said, if you were wise in Lagos State, Nigeria, hear me, we talk about love and peace. Because some particular tribe of people are doing well in business and your mind is towards them. You, you say they came from another place and dwell in your community and trying to uh, dominate the lands they have built houses, the land they have built their businesses, your father, your great father sold it to them and used the money and trained you in the institution and made you to be a scholar you are to them and made you to be a doctor, nurse, made you to be a barrister, made you to be a man of God, made you to be whatever you think you are. The money they raised from the land they sold to these strangers, you are trying to destroy the businesses, destroy their property, destroy their life. They come to bring civilization, development in your community and society. Why are you hunting your brothers? In Quran, in Torah, in the book of the law, says, do not respire to your neighbors. That's what the law says. Do not respire to your neighbors. The book of Quran, the book of Torah, the book of the law, 40 buildings by your right, 40 buildings by your left, 40 buildings behind, 40 buildings before you. They are your neighbors, and your neighbors are your breeding. Why killing people? Why destroying businesses in south, in north, in west? Why destroying markets, places? Somebody effort. Because you couldn't meet her. Everybody must not be like you. You see, have chances to get up from your slumber. If you are weak, you are weak. 
Nobody can admit to be poor. Not everybody will admit poverty. If your mind and your conscience have admitted poverty, don't think that another person will admit poverty. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Some people we get up in the morning and smoke and go back to bed. Why not? As we get up in the morning and walk out to go and fetch life. To go and hustle, to go and meet up, to go and do something in their hand. And some people we wake up and pick up guns and matches, blocking the people that are going to businesses, taking their phones, their wallet, their ATM, ATM card. That does not mean that he or she, you have taken his own property, will not return back the next money to meet up for the nature. If you have cheated yourself, you have cheated yourself. The blame has to land on you. Blame yourself. Stop blaming somebody who has already made it. Some days ago, years ago, when we were in school, why others are studying? Some others are going out from this school, jumping out, looking at them, saying they are big boys. Today they are straight. Because the movement you are making those days, living out, going out of the lecture room, going out of the school, trying to, to do all kinds of evil things, the result of it will come with poverty. But those that lend him trying to secure their future, you know there's no future for you. Why are you blaming somebody who has already made it? Who are you blaming? And somebody can come up in the morning and look at me from head to toe. And in your mind, you say, who do you think you are? I'm nobody, but I'm myself. So I can't be you. You can't be me. When you ask me, who do you think you are? I say, I am nobody, but I am myself. I can't be you. You can't be me. What I'm doing today is my effort. The effort I have made, the determination I have taken, the, 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 the faith I have taken by myself is what I am doing today. The work I am doing is my choice without looking at anybody. I'm doing the work. Why am I doing the work? Because I think through doing this work, my future must be secured. <clears throat> Nagging every time to your neighbor Nagging every time to your partner, nagging, you have personal issue to solve. Government is good. At least government gives security. But sometimes, you and I can be of help to government. If you can behave yourself, if I can behave myself, I don't think crisis will come up. My business is going for today. Yours may move tomorrow. Focus on whatever you do. My time here in throne of Elias kingdom, I used to say that righteousness is all about mind your business. If you cannot mind your business, you will regret it. That's what the wise man said. When Jesus Christ was, he was a wise man. Prophet Muhammad, he was a wise man. He spoke of peace. He thought of peace. Shalom is, is really, really greeting of showing love. Peace. Salam Aleikum. Arabic peace be unto you. Nobody, a religious person will say trouble be unto you. We talk about peace. When Jesus comes to any house, he said, peace be unto you people. Meaning, shalom alaho. Peace. We talk about peace. For a leader to return peace in the land of Israel and the neighbor, the boundaries of Israel, he was called Solomon. King Solomon returned peace the number of years he was a leader in Israel by trying to create a relationship of intermarriage, marrying some many princesses of kings to make sure there will not be war. Peace. 
is bigger than what you think. Marketplaces are burning. The Lord revealed to me. So many markets are going to be destroyed this year. Here in West Africa, Nigeria. Out of wickedness. Some of the goods you are destroying. What billions? Some of the goods you are destroying. The owner of the goods took loan from banks. And purchased the goods. And the goods is packed on warehouse. You bought the warehouse. You put fire on the warehouse. Because you know all your life. You can never be in that level. What does that mean? You are not fighting for any government. You are fighting out of jealousness and greedness. And some of the goods you are burning. The workers of the owner of the goods. Maybe you are king's man. You are relatives. Working on that earning, living from that particular person, you destroy his goods. When the goods is destroyed, those relatives of yours will come back home and join you in streets. Then the authority will be killing you people one by one. Is that what your generation has bargained with? This is not the choices of your generation. You can put a stop today. Show love. By starting on your own. The Holy Book say. Heaven help those that help themselves. If you can help yourself. Heaven will help you. In marriage and relationships. With the church. And so many people are very easy. To take out. From today henceforth. I'm not going to do it again. From today henceforth. I will be there for you. After taking that oath, The next time. The next minute. You made another mistake. The next hour you do another mistake. What brings premature death in our community and society? The Holy Book says, don't speak a word that you will not fulfill. Don't make a vow that you will not redeem. Any vow you have made, whatever that comes to your mouth, the Holy Spirit will hold you responsible. So whatever that causes premature death, accidental death, is what we have said. And we couldn't keep our saying. If you're a child of God, don't say something you cannot do. Making promises you cannot keep. Giving hopes you cannot keep. The next hour you add another thing. Listen to me. The anger, the pride is in you. A wise man said, honor who honor is due. We have people on a classes of them. Submission is what makes you a child of God. Know where to talk and know where to act. Some people never believe they are in the presence of God. You do whatever you want to do. Without even thinking of the outcome of it. Some of our children are misbehaving today is what we have committed. God will allow you to show, to torture you, to torment you. Because you claim a child of God. Why you are not? And somebody trying to be your own child. We misbehave so that you will be hurt. The way we are hurting God. I know what I'm saying. Believe me or not. I'm a messenger of God. My ways, my teaching is all about peace. Let us know the right. And control the right. Go out from the wrong. And you are going far. Don't live the life they live. Live the life of a child of God. You are the temple. You are the messenger of God. Let us speak. Let us publish the truth and the love. God is not far from us. God is here. This is in the promises of God. A prophet make a prophecy and say, Thus says the Lord, a virgin is pregnant and she will put to bed. The child will be a son and the name of the son shall be called Immanuel. Meaning, God is with us. So God is not far from us, always with us. He is not far from us, always with us. 
If you can accept, just take away pride. Take away pride and find a new thing in you. Let this community live in peace. Let this society live in peace. Let our family live in peace. Let our state in this country live in peace. Let the whole world live in peace. We represent God. The houses of God everywhere represent God. The temple of God everywhere represent God. Let us talk about peace. Let peace reign in our midst. May the peace of God dwell in you. Seeking for amazing grace, you talk about the peace of God. God is amazing. And I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the time has come. You make choice of life you want to live. May God bless somebody here. May God bless you all viewers. I am blessing you from the holy temple. The blessings of God come from, that come from his holy temple will locate you. The peace of mind. The peace of the environment. The peace of the working and business area. May the rain of peace fall in our lives. May the rain of peace fall in our land. May the rain of peace fall in our nation. May the rain of peace fall upon you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. You celebrate Jesus somebody. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord.